How's it going, everyone? My name is Do Girl, and welcome back to Dragon Fable. Last time we left off, we were just dealing with the uh, Kalepti and the collective crisis that they caused. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Anyways, now we're back to the main storyline where we're looking for our missing friends who were kidnapped. So let's do it to it. Also, just so you know, I have not previewed this quest at all. I have not pre-played it. I have not- I have not watched the Ruined Shadow play it. So, yeah, it's completely honest and uh, genuine. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, see? We're time- to, hopefully time to get our friends back? I don't know. Grinding- anyways, let's play Grinding Gears. So, an ungrown dragon and two humans. This is all you have to show for, from your unplanned expedition? It seems your brother was right to send his forces to retrieve you. We can only hope that you didn't share too much with the defendants during your infiltration. They suspect nothing. Although, with my absence, I think... You think? Your thoughts have put in it the entire colonization effort in jeopardy. Leave the thinking for your betters for the sake of the manufacturing. I thought that was Yulin at first, but I guess not. With all due respect, you underestimate their defenders. If we don't pursue a more diplomatic route, the Beyond may end up, well, beyond us. Enough! As the hammer strikes the ingot, so too must, must we strike their paltry defenses. All has gone well until now, until you could not contain your whims. The static has been building long enough. The Thunderbolt will fall. Let your elder brother deal with this campaign, little prince. You can dream your fantasies, but do not get in his way again. Understood, father. Oh, that was his dad? The prisoners have been brought to the dungeon. Prince Yulin may do with them as he wishes, but only after we establish our foothold. Is that clear, Prince Yulin? Yes, Father. How could Yulin do this to us? I told you so. I trusted him! Open the cage, Ostromir. It'll be fine, Ostromir. Unless... Look at how cute the invading enemy is, Ostromir. You don't suppose he has some sort of plan, do you? Nobody ever listens to Ostromir. There has to be some plan. There has to be something. I would expect not expect so. Well, can't we do something then? They left us with all of our gear. We're not bound. Maybe don't, they don't think we're a threat. Can you get this door open, Magister? And if I could? We, Sparks and I, could fight our way out. Out? Do you even know where we are? I'm not stupid. We must be in the manufactory, which means we're on the other side of the proclamation rift. Which means we don't know where the rift is on this side either. We'll find it. Nothing will stop us, right Sparks? Right! My human is counting on me! Save your energy. You lazy magister! All talk, no action! 
Come on, Spox. Let's break our way out. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Spox. Well, I tried. You too, Spox? At least you're there trying. All you magicians do is use others. Can't do anything for yourself. What is it that you have against me? I am being reasonable, logical. The Magisters, you, you made me and my parents flee from the Empire, from my home. Ah, and seeing you channel your magic. Yeah, everyone knows the stories. Children who manifest magical abilities are taken from their families. By the Magisters. As the shapeless wills. Don't give me that! My father! My father was a scholar in the Enchanter's Guild! He heard the whispers of the Magisters, even if he was supposed to forget what he heard. And my mother! She was an assassin. And since the assassins are, employ are the employ of the Magisters, she knew. An enchanter, scholar, and an assassin. I remember that case. Caused some concern among the Magistrum when they vanished. So they thought they would lose a child. That explains much. We fled, bought passage from some smuggler. Spent all we had. If it weren't for the Magistrum, for you! We wouldn't have had to flee! They'd still... They would... Enough. Such painful memories are not for... They'd still be alive! Wow. <laughs> Sparks! Uh, Sparks, I don't think this is a good time to take a nap! Uh... Wow, okay, so that's a little bit more of Raven's story. So they fled from the Magistrum because they had a child and they thought she would be magical. Okay. I understand why you blame the Magistrum. Although, I'm afraid your parents had nothing to fear. What do you say? Were they wrong? Then, was I not going to be taken? Oh, you most certainly would have been conscripted. And with your natural ability? Yes, I imagine you would have su succeeded. Speak plainly. Would have I, would I have been able to stay with my family? No. Your parents would have never knowingly seen you again. That much is true. But you, you would have seen them, protected them, watched them grow old. As a magister. Hmm. Surely, in their positions, they could have known, could have learned, even if they were not supposed to. And that's the same to you, is it? They could have been pr silently proud. It has been known to happen, though rarely. And you? Do you remember your family? Do you protect them? Is being a magister really everything you claim it to be? My parents are lumberers out in the countryside. As far as I know, they will. And happy. I have a younger sister now, too, who owns a stall in the forums. Sometimes I visit. She has no idea who I am, of course, nor should she. The Magistrum is a second family to me, united by the will of the Shapeless. And I do my duty, for the sake of the Shapeless, the Empire and all who reside within it. 
and that's supposed to make me feel better. You asked, I answered. Sparks, it looks like he's trying to understand. Hmm. For what little it may be worth to you, I'm sorry for what happened to your family. Such tragedies are never our intentions. Intentioned or not, they're caused by your actions. You steal children from their families, raise them to be monsters, then do nothing when it matters. I'm getting out of here, with or without you. Preferably without. Your mother's title. From what I've seen of your skills and varsity, you have more than earned it. I cannot undo the past, but I allow my actions in the present to prove my intent. Whatever. Just don't get in the way. Ready, Sparks? Let's go already! Hmm, which way should we go? Uh, either way, I think we're gonna fight something, so... Left? Okay, so we're playing as Sparks now. Wow. And Ostromir's... <clears throat> Hold on. I think that is Yulun. Sorry. Got the voices mixed up. Okay, so it's fairly simple. Yulin, wait! Where are you going? Do you think he might be leading us out? No idea. This way? <laughs> Sorry if I was quiet during all that, but I didn't. <laughs> At least, you know, give Raven and Ostromir some. Okay, now we can take these down. Okay, which way? Uh, you only went that way. It's just down here. Uh, this purple stuff probably isn't safe to touch. Pass away seems to spawn ish. You are finding the way around. Okay, so we have to go this way. Okay, so yeah, here we go. What a sight! What a sight! Oh yeah. Oh, that looks kind of scary. Also reminds me of the ending of uh, Sonic Racer when and Antoine got stuck on the conveyor belt. Oof. Okay. <sighs> Still creepy how they explode like that. I'm also reminded of, uh, I'm gonna have to put it in the annotations, the level in Sonic CD with all the machinery and stuff, it was like the second to last level, but if I can remember the name I'll put it in the bottom of your screen. And if I can find a Bible verse about 
Let's see. I guess respecting foreign cultures? I'll definitely put that at the bottom of your screen as well. Yeah, through most of this quest, I've been randomly... I've been falling back into my habit of randomly clicking. So, yeah. So, yeah. Oof. Oops. Sorry, guys. Okay, next. Hey. What is that? More of that purple stuff. Okay, here we go. There it is! There is the rift! Yep. That's definitely the rift. It seems Yulin was leading us to it. I told you he had a plan. So you did. Well done, Hidalch Raven. Sparks. We should pass with haste before Mal Malagom show up. They're bound to be on the other side too. Can I trust you to at least remember the way while Sparks and I fight, fight our way through? Remember the... Ah, uh, yes. I see. It will be done. I think we're getting closer to the rift. The air feels strange. We are. This atmosphere. I can sense it as well. It's almost blinding. We don't know what we will stumble upon on the, the other side. So remember, this is strictly a recovery mission. Sightseeing will have to... Wait. Justina, someone is coming. Gah, more legumes? No, it's... Oh, Yulin! <laughs> Justina! Sparks! Ow. And then, I get this bun through the air, creating an opening for dra the dragon and villain, whilst we cowered in the corner. I did not cower. He definitely cowered. I'm just glad you're all safe. Raven, report. Yes, ma'am. During the surprise attacks on the camps, it seems Ostromir, Sparks, and I were herded by a flow of flow of the battle to be separated from everyone else. That was my doing. I told my soldiers to uh, capture the three. You were the ones I cared of, who cared the, about me the most. So if I knew if I got into trouble, you wouldn't hesitate to help. I would not call it caring so much as unwavering suspicion. Sure, sure. You couldn't keep your eyes off me. The dragon, too. I think I was just hungry. My plan was flawless. Anyways, after we were captured, we were tossed in turn and dragged into the ruins and eventually through the rift. Into the manufactory. Wasn't it magnificent? Sure. After that, we were thrown into a prison cell. Ostromir helped us break free, and as we explored, trying to find a way out... You found a hero who led you to safety. It was I, Yulin Verlin, the... We followed Yulin, who sometimes just se seemed as lost as we were. It was an intricate path to avoid guards. The majority of who we were still seem to encounter. I helped too. Eventually, we made it back to the rift and fought our way back through the ruins. So, thanks to Yulin's help, we now know the way to the rift. They'll probably be prepared for an attack, but at least we're not going in blind. Thank you, Raven. Well done, all of you. Yulin, was this really a, all a ploy, just to find the path through the ruins? This seems like a rather complicated plan. Uh, well... Yulin? So, my father, ruler of the manufactory, may or may not be planning to evade the beyond. That is, here, with a massive force in the colonization effort. 
to extend our influence and power outside of our region. And I may or may not have brought him three unnamed prisoners in an attempt to gain favor to stop him from doing that, but now that I've told you all this, I think I'm a traitor, and I think that means my birthright is forfeit, but that's okay, because I mean... Who really needs a prince anyway? It's not like I had people counting on me for, or plans for the manufacturing or 20-part diplomatic process planning for establishing trade and dialogue between us and, and the beyond, and now those plans are probably all mess, and now the beyond will co be colonized, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. Yeah, that was a hard one to do. It's okay. I'm fine. Hmm. Yulin, do you need a hug? Yes, If it's any consolation, I think your fellow Lagom were too preoccupied with Hadult's Raven and Spock's Rampage to notice your role in our escape. Hadult? However, did you manage to get on Ostromir's good side, Raven? Make no mistake, I still don't like you. Great, now that we're all reunited, what's our plan? Sorry, I skipped through that last one. I think it's pretty clear. We secure the portal before the Lagom can strike. I agree, but it won't be easy. And I'm sure they'll be quick to refortify their position. Then we must act quick with haste. If everyone is ready, Ostomir, please lead the way. Say. I'll keep an eye on you, Lynn. Oh no, I'll be okay. If you try to betray us again, I'll eat you. <laughs> Looks like energy is sparking from his mouth. I wouldn't dream of it. Let's do this. That rift won't know what hit it. Okay, a uh, little bit of. Voice acting was a little bit everywhere, but yeah, well, at least we got our friends back. You found your allies as well as the way to the rift thanks to Yulin's plans. Time to secure the roof, rift and save Doomwood. Roofed? Where the heck did that come from? Oh, Legome Quick Weld Wall Paste version 91662. Your dragon brought some of the sticky, stinky purple paste with it back from the manufacturer. How considerate. Yulin seems to think it might be useful in the future, though. So, we're getting another weapon or something? It's it's a relief to see everyone back. It is. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. I really do appreciate it. Take care of each other. God bless you all. And I'll see you all later. Woo! It's good to have you back, buddy. And everyone else, too.